because of me being on the bed and just cursing him and everything. My um, friend went to the bag. We already had um, this thing before. We already had um, Refno in our bag that we were supposed to like give to him so that he would sleep like after, so in case, so that we'll be able to leave. So my friend put it in her hand, and when she tried to pour it into his mouth, he turned his face away and he didn't enter his mouth. He said he didn't need it to lighten up his mood. So I think at that time, she was now getting impatient because it was raining before. And as the rain stopped, everywhere became quiet and like we were running out of time. So that was when she took the phone and she was placing it in front of his face. I was even surprised because before she even picked up the phone, with everything that was going on, he was not suspicious. He did not, like, he was just like willingly doing everything. So I was also like surprised that how come he did not even like think about anything, like he allowed us to tie his hand and his leg so easily like that. So when my friend put the phone in his face, he told me wanted to video him. So he was not like, we should not video him, we should not video him. That was when he now pushed me off the bed because I was already sitting like on his leg before. That was when he now pushed me off the bed. So my friend got on him and she put the phone in his face and tried to like unlock the phone with his face. Like since he didn't have, because the man, the man is like, he did not have like cash or anything with him that day in his pocket or anything. And we didn't go to his car. So there was nothing else that we could do except if we were able to like get money from his account. So when my friend put the phone in front of his face, that was when he now freaked out. And he now started like shouting and everything. I don't know how he managed to lose the rope that was used to tie his hand. And he started hitting. Mom just drove in. So when the man drove in, when the man drove in, I asked the two guys, the Kapali and the JVC, to go to go and meet him. So when they went there, when they went there, they were like, boss, I, I was like, boss, I was like, now, how you did? So the man was shocked and was surprised. Although he was very, he was drunk and was acting somehow, who are you, all this kind of stuff. So <coughs> so the JVC was like, master, now me, now me, all this kind of stuff. Then uh, I just... I just pissed off, like uh, because what we j what Kapali was doing is like he's just pampering the man. So I just so that was that was how I went there. That was how I went there. When I went to the play, went to the man's car, I started pushing the man. So he started calling my name, Zaka Zaka. I said he shouldn't come and if he come and I'll do him something. So I started pushing and asking to transfer money to the Kapali. But me, I want to take his uh, that is uh, green card everything that belongs to him because i know he has his two phone green card eighteen and everything and token so i want to take all those things so the man after all those things i was pushing him and was trying when he was trying to like then he ran away then the kapali uh, kapali followed him then jvc followed him while i was standing at that place thinking maybe they will catch him and bring him so I was standing there and then I discovered JVC and Kapali started running towards area one from the achievement recorded uh exemplify the unflinching dedication and commitment of the Nigerian police force under their naval leadership of the Inspector General of Police, Federal Republic of Nigeria, acting as the Kayoli, and the Oluepeto Kupek LMPM. The primary objective remains the safety of the party of whoever is the king at great and our resolve remains unshakable. We will continue to work tirelessly, relentlessly pursuing rock drugs criminal element and deviance and ensuring a safer Nigeria. Want to seize this opportunity to still assure Nigerians again that we will not relent on effort in making sure we have a safer community in this country. Want to urge you please continue to work with the police to share information with the police and other security agencies so that we can have that country with all desire, with all yearning.